Good morning, guys. Today we are going to see a flower transporting tank, which is uh, a, another different type of uh, dry powder transporting tank. We were seeing the banana type uh, cement tank before. Today we are going to see the corn cement, uh, the corn dry powder tank, because it's not uh, for cement; it's for the flour, uh, edible dry powder. Here, same as all the other trailers, in the front of the semi-trailer, we have the air connecting line, the electricity connecting line, an ABS connecting socket, and the indicator of the ABS. Here's the ABS and the electricity indicator because that's for the domestic market. Here we have the maintenance uh, gap in the front, left, and right for the maintenance if necessary. At the front we have the 19 inches king pen is bolted type. Further we have the landing gear. It uh, looks uh, similar as other domestic uh, landing gear because that's uh, almost a one-time use. Okay, after there, we can see the difference because this kingpin plate have those bolts. Those bolts are fastening the kingpin plate with the frame together. Later, you can remove it by those bolts. Then you can do the maintenance or repairing if necessary. The flower tank inside is low density, so the discharging type is different than the banana type. We have the different coins like here one, two, three, four, five, and here's maybe five, five totally. I didn't count. All right, same as other trailers, we have the valves and the gadgets and the safety valves in the front. Here is the first coin, input air valve from here. And then the pipe goes on, and we have a, a ball valve here and the safety valve here. And then this is the first coin discharging valve. So the first coin discharging valve go to the main discharging pipes and uh, combine with the second coin discharging valve from here. And this is the second coin input air holes. At the bottom we can see here, we cannot go inside to see the device, but here is the liquefied device to make sure the flour and the other type of dry powder liquefy inside. So once the dry powder liquefy, they can go out like a water by the pressure to here. And now here we have the third coin uh, air input from here and uh, third coin discharge valve, the fourth coin air input valve, the five coin, and uh, yeah, this is the the fifth uh, the fifth coin discharge valve here. We have a huge disc uh, valve here and the uh, other flange connecting here to make sure it's uh, going to be. It's charging very well, and when you're closing it, it is quite well. And here, we have a gadget here, and, and another another line. On the top line, it is uh, the air line, and the bottom line is uh, the cargo line. So the air and the cargo are combined together, but the main cargo discharging line is here. And we've got to see, same as other trailers, we have the see the side protection to protect the people go inside with during the running and that's a spare tire carrier which is different than the others. We can see the two liquefied devices here and the other liquefied devices is inside. That we can see the main beam of the trailer is pretty huge. It's about uh, 800 in the front or 900 in the front and six or 700 millimeter height in the rear and we have the 
tire and axle adjusting label in the front of the tire and the tire the marred guard protection we're using the plastic ones for each of them and the pattern we're using is the following axle tire pattern and here we are using the air suspension air suspension is uh, quite expensive than the leaf spring suspension ah, let's go inside all right we, can, we cannot see too much inside but we can see here this is the airbag airbag which is different than the leaf spring type we were seeing all the time and this is uh, the braking chamber the braking chamber still gives the braking signal like a push to the axles axle here we can see is like a pretty thick and uh, the spring is like a one piece but a huge huge and a strong steel to connecting the airbags and the frame we can see inside is no painting but it's made by aluminum that's uh, for the whole trailer is made by aluminum for the self weight and here we have the marred flippers <laughs> and uh, now we're outside outside we can see the rear with the light and uh, reflector uh, plate and also the stairs to the top on the top we have the we have the cat walking in the double side and uh, the safety uh, handrail operated by the pressure the air and on the tank body we have the the information of the tank like a 60 cubic meter and a low density dry powder as cargo and the flower transporting flower carrying semi trailer and in here we have the two huge pipes to store the discharging hose and the axle we are using is uh, BPW is BPW axle with 10 stud and each stud we have a, a, red, a white line to make sure when you do the maintenance you know what it was uh, at the beginning and the BPW has the sign here on the axle so aluminum rim different than the others this is uh, the aluminum brand and the informations also the tires we're using the huge single tires the size uh, 425 65 r22 which is uh, quite a rear this is, you can see from the front end yeah so the total three axle is only have a six tire different than uh, the other double tire axles this is a single tire axle here is the two box and the side protection and the landing gear in the front we can see the information plate and the VIN on the trailer body here we need the VIN uh, for every trailer it's like ID number globally and this is the name plate of the production how what kind of information what kind uh, uh, model and we are in some information like that and here is more information about the contacting with the tractor sorry for the Chinese characters okay I think that would be all for today I didn't go to the top because it's pretty cold here and the weather is getting cold day by day in the north of China thank you very much uh, it's pretty good weather today rare to see in China okay Bye-bye. See you next time.